Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron Wesley. Today we're gonna to be talking about how and why you would run a real amp into something like a neural DSP plugin. Let's check it out. Okay, so right now I have my Tele plugged into the front end of my Matchless Chieftain head, and then I have that plugged into the Sewer Reactive Load IR. Now, if you want more information about that, there's tons of videos about it. I have one here, you can check it out. Now, so what I'm doing is this is taking the signal of the amp, and it's basically taking the load of it, and it's sending out at line level. Okay, so with the sewer reactive load, I can apply an impulse response. Okay, but for this example, I'm bypassing that section and just taking the literal line level of the amp into my interface. Now, if I look over at the computer, right now I am ran into Neural DSP's Archetype Plenty. Okay, now I really like this plugin, it's one of my favorites because I love the post effects section. His delays and reverb sound super good. Okay, so here's the question. Why am I running it this way? Okay, so let's listen to this. This is literally just from the amp. It sounds pretty nasty. It sounds really brittle and thin. Let's check it out. So obviously that sounds gross because there's literally no cab simulation, there's no impulse response, there's nothing, okay? So if we come over here to the software, I'm gonna turn on the cab section. So again, I have everything bypassed. The effects off, EQ is off, the amp section is off, no pedals, this is just line level, okay? So again, straight from the amp. Now, if I were to go to the cab section and I turn these sections on, it's basically adding impulse responses of whatever microphones you have selected. So you can adjust the distance, the position, um, you can pan them, all of these things. It's super cool because you can have all these versatilities that you may not necessarily have if you don't want to run your amp super loud with a cab with microphones like me because I'm in a small house, I have neighbors really close next door, I don't want to bother anyone. So. Right now, I can basically simulate being in a studio with really nice microphones, and I can move them around whichever way I want. So right now, both of these microphones are centered. Let's listen to this. So that sounds more like an actual guitar, right? So here's a little groove that I played for a previous video where I basically built a drum set out of pizza boxes, okay? So let's listen to this. So, I think that sounds great, okay? Now, one thing that I can do, again, what is the benefit of running it this way? So, for one thing, if I just loaded in my IRs or my impulse responses within the surreactive load, I would just have that one IR, it would be in mono, okay? So, the advantage of this is I have two microphones I can choose from, and I can pan them which is a big advantage because I can now have a stereo impulse response. Okay, so now listen to this. So here is the SM57 by itself. So it has that bite to it, right? If I turn that off and I turn the ribbon mic on, much warmer, like what you would expect from a ribbon mic. I turn them both on. Again, here they are separated. So normally, if I were running those two mics together, I would put them in mono because they do sound so different. So here's another reason why having this setup provides more options for you. Versatility of tone is Within the surreactive load, I can load in my own impulse responses. That's great. But again, it's just centered. 
Okay, so with this, not only do I have the microphones that I can load in from the plugin, I can load in my own personal IRs and I can load in two of them and I can pan them and have a stereo image. So right now I have two uh, custom IRs that I got from David Hislop. You should check him out, he has great stuff. Um, so right now I have them both panned and it sounds like this. So that's definitely more of like a vintage sounding IR. So if I were to take that and I go to my effects section, then I can not only add effects, but I can add stereo effects. So again, advantage of running your amp into this is I have not only have stereo IRs, but I have stereo post effects. So if I were to just run my delay pedal into the front end of the amp, it would be mono. The only way I could do stereo is if I had a stereo output on my delay pedal and I ran it into two different amps. I only have one. So now we have just basically super wide, sounds huge, let's listen to this. There you can hear a nice big stereo image. I love having that versatility. I love having stereo. If you ever watch my channel, you know I love stereo effects. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, it was just to kind of open up a new way you could utilize these plugins. They're amazing. If you've never used them, I mean, even just the, you know, right now I use my own amp, but the built-in amps, everything on here, they just sound so good. They feel real, they sound real. They have a 14-day trial on any of their plugins, so Try them out, you have nothing to lose. If you wanna support the channel, please follow me on Instagram at Aaron Wesley Music. Also check out my website that I just launched, it's AaronWesley.com. You can download guitar presets for the Kemper, for Neural DSP, I'm probably gonna keep adding things on that website. Please like this video if you got anything out of it, and also subscribe, and until next time, we'll see you guys later.